Okay, we're going to try 20 ISOs, number 11. And just like always, let's go ahead and get an idea for what the dimensions look like. Um, it looks like this side over here on the right side is rounded a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a dashed line that goes out this way. And we're going to count up these squares. This curve can kind of throw people off. So let's count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> it's 11 units wide. And we're going to make another dotted line that goes out this direction. And another dotted line that goes out. Hmm, let's see here. Uh, it looks like if we move down, we're going to put a dashed line right here. So in total, it looks like we're going to be one, two, three, four units across, or four units deep. And let's look at the height. And the highest point is going to be right here. So I'm just going to kind of make a dashed line all the way down here. I'm going to skip the hole, but I'm still going to count it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or six units high. I should probably put that in here. That way I don't think that this segment length right here is going to be six. Let me get rid of that. So it's going to be six high on, on this red dashed line. Okay, we have a couple of different things that we need to do here. Um, I'm looking at the rounded edges and these are rounded the right way. So this is going to be a fillet. We can use the fillet command for this. Um, this in the middle, uh, there are a couple of ways to do the middle section. You could use a rectangle and two circles and make a sketch, which is what I think we're going to do. Uh, but Onshape also has a slot command that you can do as well. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do the slot command in a later video. We're just going to deal with making a basic sketch and cutting in through that sketch. Uh, this side over here, this is also going to be a fillet. I'm going to go ahead and write this as a slot. Um, and then for the one in the middle, uh, that's just going to be a regular hole we can use by just sketching a circle. There's also a hole command in Onshape too, but that one's not too hard to figure out. You click the hole button and then make the hole. Uh, so let's figure out how to get this going first. Let's think about the design of this. Um, I think at first what we're going to do is we're going to make a block shape and then I'm going to add a rectangle on top of it and then I can start shaping that rectangle on top and the long uh, side of the rectangle to make our fillets, our slots, and our holes. So we've got several steps that we need to do here. It's not nearly as nice as number 10. So let's go ahead and get started. I need to remember my dimensions 11 by 4. Because when I make my rectangle, it's going to be 11 by 4. Let's see if I can remember it. Create a document. We're going to call it 20 ISOs number 11. Click OK. 11 by 4, 11 by 4, 11 by 4. Okay, we're going to create a sketch from the top and we're going to make a rectangle and that rectangle is going to be 11 by 4. So I'm going to click and I'm going to click 11, enter, 4, enter, and I'm going to click the green check mark and check the isometric view. Everything looks good. Now, we're going to do just two units up. I'm not going to make like a big block because if I did that, I'd have to cut out this entire section. And that's really unnecessary. Would it work? Yeah, but you could, uh, it, there's an easier way. So we're going to only extrude up two units. So when I make my extrusion, we're going to click the rectangle and we're going to extrude up two units, green check mark. Now I need to add another section over here, and that section needs to be one, two, three, four units wide, and it needs to be, or four units high, and it needs to be one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four. So this is going to be a square. Back to on shape. If I create my sketch, click on the top, go to the top view, and we're going to make our rectangle, move it to a corner rectangle, um, four by four. And I might be able to just get it about where you want it to, and then click, and you can type in the dimensions, four, enter, four, enter, and that sets them in place. Also add some constraints since it was set up on a corner. And we're going to hit the green check mark, and we should be able to extrude this. So I'm going to click extrude, and we're going to extrude it up four units, and then we're going to click the green check mark. There we go. So we're, we got an L shape. We're getting there. So at least we've got the basic foundation of our shape. Now we need to work on putting the holes in and rounding it off. 
So I think the first thing that we're going to do is let's add the fillets. So if I look at both of the fillets, um, the first fillet has a radius of 2, and the second fillet, fillet has a radius of 2 as well. So we've got a radius of 2, and we've got a radius of 2. So in on shape, what I'm going to do is we're going to use the fillet command, which is right here. And we're going to make sure that our radius value is 2, and we're going to click. And then I'm going to click on this edge and I don't have to wait and make a separate fillet. I can go ahead and just go down to this edge since it's the same radius and click here and click here. And that's going to give me all four fillets at the same time. So I'm going to then click the green check mark. And now it's looking even more like what we had. All right. So let's see. Let's do the hole next. This hole, if I look the center of the hole, is one two down and it has a diameter of two since we've made this fillet i'm kind of hoping that it's already going to have a halfway point for geometry let's find out i'm going to click this sketch and i'm going to click on the front side i'm going to go to the front view so that we can actually see what's going on here and i'm going to check by just clicking on the circle and i'm going to see there's the center point of the circle and if i move down i can get to the center of this fillet and if I remember correctly the center of the fillet has a radius of 2 and if I look back at my sketch that's exactly how far down I need to go so my geometry is already there for on shape so I'm going to just click on the center of this and I'm going to make a diameter of 2 so I'm going to click just get close and then just whenever you get the number type in 2 enter and that'll give you the fillet I'm sorry that'll give you the circle uh, hit the green check mark and move it to isometric view and we're going to extrude don't forget though to set it to remove so whenever i click the shape click remove and then drag that arrow all the way through and click the green check box you should if you check the front view you should have a hole that goes all the way through there if you don't have a hole you didn't extrude or you didn't cut as far as you needed to cut okay so we have one more thing we need to do we need to worry about the slot and using it as a sketch um, is going to require a little bit of geometry. So let's go ahead and let's start adding in that geometry and let's see what we can do. So the first thing I need to do is create a reference point for where this rectangle is going to be. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the top view so that we have just our slot going. And if I just start creating a rectangle, I don't know exactly how far this needs to go. But let's find our easiest points of reference and let's use that as uh, our starting point. So since we already have this circle made over on this side, we can use this starting point as the rectangle reference point and the circle beginning reference point. So uh, we know that, let's go ahead and let's make the circle first. So I'm going to click the circle button. And remember, this is a halfway point, so we can just start at the halfway point and move our mouse over to where it creates the center of the circle. That's two units in. And this diameter, I didn't actually check. The diameter of this semicircle is two units. Let's go back here, click on this, and diameter, two, enter. Okay, so we have a circle with a diameter of two. Okay. From there, we can use either a rectangle or we can use lines. Since we're just creating a slot, using a rectangle, uh, either starting at the center or starting at the other side, might get a little bit interesting. But I'll tell you what, uh, let's learn something new. Since we know that the, unit, uh, the rectangle is going to be one, two, three units across, what we can do is we can use the center point rectangle um, and let's just double check one more time. One, two, three, yeah. So we can use the center point rectangle. We can make a line from this diameter and go out three units. I'm going to use this line as uh, a reference for my rectangle. And if I click on center point rectangle, I can click on the center of this line and I can drag it out to the edge of this circle. So whenever I click on that, I need to make it three units wide, and it's got a diameter of two. 
So it's going to be two units across, and I think that locked in place because we've already got it set up. Okay, and then we're going to create a circle, and that circle is going to have a diameter of two. We've got a lot of stuff we can trim at this point. So we don't need the centers of the circle, and it's going to give you a lot of constrained geometry. You can go ahead and just trim everything out in the middle. We don't need it, so trim, 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 trim. And we don't even need these diameters to the circle anymore, so we can trim that as well too. So once I cut all this away, the only thing that we're going to have left is just a slot. Okay? There are other ways to do this, and some people will think that well, you can just use the slot button and that will be a lot easier, and it may be. Um, you can also use arcs to try to get your uh, circle from the rectangle to go, but I don't know. I like to just make a sketch of it and go. So uh, we're going to click the green check mark, and if everything worked out, you should have a piece of geometry that is completely highlighted. I'm going to click this to make it isometric, and if this works, then we're going to click extrude, and we're going to remove, click on the surface and then drag down to remove the extra area. Click the green check mark, and it looks like we have everything that we need for this shape to be ISO number 11. Let's check, we've got a hole, we've got fillets, we've got a slot, and I believe that we are good to go.